that. You know what I learned today? I wear so much foundation. Like I put on too much every single day of my life. And I noticed that today because I didn't use as much. Like I put some on my hand, cause I, I mixed two foundations together today and I put them on my hand and I was like mixing them together and I was like, this isn't as much as I normally use. That's okay, I'll add more if I need it. And I like put it on and I got like full coverage, bam, uh, one, done. And I didn't have anything to add and it wasn't creasy. It didn't look cakey and I was like, hmm, maybe I wear too much. Anyway. Today's video is going to be a ColourPop haul! So today's video is going to be a ColourPop haul and I'm super, super freaking excited about it because I have been on a no-buy for several months. And I know that that's really spoiled and first world problem, but it was really hard for me, okay? So I went on ColourPop and I bought a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna share it with you. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it has my address on it. Kaiser, stop playing with my back. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna crack this sucker open. How do I do that? I decided to be myself in this video because I'm sick of editing videos with me like this. So, this and that and the other thing. Kaiser, don't think mommy, don't think mommy's makeup. That's a good way to lose them. Nothing, I wouldn't cut anything off you. I love you too much. Aha! Ooh! It's creepy. I've never gotten an actual like box from ColourPop. I've only gotten bags because I don't usually order this much stuff. Hello, yes, I love you very much. Why do you why do you only love me when I'm busy though? That's really frustrating. Cute little car I always get. Hey love, thank your mom for the jeans that gave you your crazy good looks. Hashtag Happy Mother's Day. XOXO ColourPop. You hear that, Mama? ColourPop says Happy Mother's Day. Love you. Miss you. Bye. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I got, I think I may have gotten the wrong color. I didn't really know, but I have. You can't really tell because my roots are terrible. So I have, I do have some red in my hair, and my eyebrows are pretty, not thick, but like, they're not too sparse. So I don't really have to fill them in that much. So I did get the shade Arched Auburn in the brow pencil. It is pretty red, but, but I think that's okay because I don't have to use a bunch to fill in. My brows. Ooh, the spoolie is so thin. I love it. Holy crap! It's so thin. Does it twist? Ah, there we go. So yeah, I mean, it, it looks like it'd be a pretty good match. Maybe it's a little light, but like, that will be my background, honey. Moving on. I picked up three of their lippy pencils, which I'm excited about. I got Grunge, Lumiere, and Aquarius. Can you tell I love Kathleen? I don't have any of their lippy sticks or lippy pencils yet. These are my first lippy pencils. So I got this one in the shade Grunge, which is just a nice brown color. It's kind of a poopy brown, brown color, which I'm okay with. It's almost got like a purpley sort of undertone-y thingy to it. And then here is La Laquarius. This is called Laquarius. It's not called Laquarius. This is Aquarius. This is Kathleen Lights's Lights's. This is Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop, and it's a beautiful nude color. It's beautiful. This is more uh, 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 This color so far they feel really creamy, which I appreciate because I can't stand lip liners that are like too dry and hard because then I like tear up my lips, and then whatever goes on top of it looks like crap. And then I have Lumiere, which is Kathleen's first collaboration with them from a while back. <gasps> it's so pretty! It's like a dusty mauve sort of color. Very beautiful. So those are the lippy pencils that I got. So I picked up, if you watch my channel, you know that I love these suckas. I picked up five of their ultra matte lips. These are my favorite lip products because I love, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love that they don't go anywhere. I hate like regular lipstick because I'm always worried about if it's smudged or if it's on my teeth. I'm just like, I'm paranoid. I'm like anxious about what my face looks like. So I like the Ultra Matte Lips because yes, they're sort of somewhat drying, but they don't budge and I love that. So I picked up five of them. I picked up Stingray. That's darker than I was expecting it to be, but I really, really like it so far. Got the shade R and B, like A-R-E and B-E and R and B. Oh, that's really similar. 
it's not the same at all, but it's, it's really similar. This one's just a little bit more purple than Stingray. Stingray is a little bit more brown. I picked up Beeper. Oh, this one got all leaky in my package. It's like there's not a little stopper thingy like right in the mouth of the thing to like wipe off the excess product so it's like there's too much and it's globbing. Kind of irritating. This is Privacy Please, which is another one of their new ones, I believe. R&B and Privacy Please are two of their new ultra mats. And then the one that I'm most excited for is Lumiere. Same as the lip liner, it's nice and dusty. A dusty mauve sort of, I think it's got like a lilac-y sort of undertone to it. I also picked up five of their cream gel liners, the pencil version, obviously. I already own one of these, I only own the white one, which is called Exit, and I love it so much, I have it on my waterline right now. But these do not budge on my waterline, so I picked up five more. So I picked up their plain old matte black, which is called Swerve. And then I picked up one of their new ones in the shade Honey Dude, which is their nude. And then I got Get Paid. I got this shade because it's like a rose goldy shade and I love it. Dang! That is metallic. That was metallic, if you didn't catch that. Ask me how excited I am for this freaking eyeliner. This is the shade Boots, which is a really pretty pink color. Just a pretty matte pink. The last shade that I picked up is Piggy Bank, and it's a really pretty purple color. It's baby, and I love it, and I can't wait to put it in my water. And then last but not least, I picked up three of their highlighters because I love them. They're perfect, they're creamy, and I love them. So first I picked up the shade Butterfly Beach. That's like the epitome of a wearable rose gold highlight. That's what Butterfly Beach is. And then I got the shade Wisp, which is a cult favorite, I believe, because I hear all about it all the time. It's a nice, very light, bronzy, sort of champagne-y color. Very beautiful, that's called Wisp. And the last shade I got is Smoke and Whistles, which I think is another really, really super popular one. This is heaven for us fair-skinned beauties. Let me tell you what. Gorgeous. That's a really just light, pale, pale, pale pink. See, look at all this gorgeousness on my freaking hand right now. Okay, so that's it. That completes this video. That is everything that I picked up from ColourPop. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye. My teeth look ill. Yeah. What?